Hi everyone, it's Mike here and Bentley. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to the ladies and gents. No? Not going to say hello? Okay. Over the past few weeks I've received quite a few um, happy mails. So I've actually got five to go through now. I don't really want to sit and go through all five one after the other because that's going to be a little bit of a boring video just showing you what I've received in the mail. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to split them up and I'm going to do five very very short videos just going through what I've received from each person. So I will do the first one right now. So this first piece of happy mail came from a lady called Jane Cameron. Now Jane um, that's just a little private note that Jane sent me. Now, Jane is one of the ladies that participates in the Mission Inspiration monthly challenges on Facebook. And I happened to mention on uh, in a comment on one of the pages that she created that I really liked, the, it was a typewriter image. And she's very, very kindly stamped out some for me uh, from a stamp set she's got um, and sent me those in the post. So as you can see, there's some quite nice um, ones that she's done in like a, what, a dark brown, she's also done ones in black, she's also done some of the feathers, and uh, this is on really nice thick, I mean really really thick cardstock, it's really nice stuff. But what she's also done very very kindly is she's also sent me some bits and pieces that she's got from some graphic 45 papers that she's got, so these lovely postage stamp ones. Uh, now, I think this is from the, if I remember right, this is from the typography collection from Graphic 45. And I'm not sure whether or not you can still get it. It's very difficult to get hold of here in the UK now. So some really nice patterns. But she sent me a really nice panel there, which I think would fit really nicely into one of my smaller journals. And you can see that that typewriter is very, very similar to the one that she's stamped out. And it's just... So I think probably that the stamp is also a Graphic 45 one. Now, did she actually say that in her letter? Have a quick look. Da, 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 da. No, she's not actually said that, that, whether it's a Graphic 45 stamp. But she's sent me some really nice bits and pieces um, from that Graphic 45 collection, which is really nice of her because I know how difficult it is to get here in the UK. And I think Jane is from the UK too. So... Thank you very much, Jane. Um, like I said, I tend to go and look for bits and pieces that I'm going to be using in my pages. And I, I always remember what people send me. So if I'm doing a piece that I think anything will fit, then I'll definitely jump into these and, um, and I'll give you a mention in the video. So thank you so much for sending me that through the post. So thank you, Jane, for that lovely Graphic 45 stuff. I will definitely be putting that to a very good use very soon. So on to my updates. So what I've been thinking about doing. Um, I currently produce about two videos a week to go onto my YouTube channel, which I put up onto YouTube on a Wednesday and a Saturday. Now, I've been thinking of changing that to increase the number of videos that I do. Um, and instead of doing Wednesdays and Saturdays, I've been thinking of doing Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. So that gives me opportunities to do other stuff during the week as well and to also increase what I can do and what I can show you guys. Now, I could do a third video, no problem, because there are certain things that lots of other YouTubers do that I've never done. So I've never done an art journal flip through. I've never shown you what's in the contents of my drawers and I've never really done a little bit of a a studio tour or a craft room tour. I've never shown you how I organise and store my stencils or my paints or anything like that. So I can do lots of little shorter videos, maybe only up to 10 minutes long, that will also increase my, uh, my output for you because I know how hungry you guys are for, um, for seeing and being you know, curious about what's in people's drawers. Um, so I can do that kind of thing. So if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing, then please leave me a message in the comments section below and I will see what I can do. Now, the other thing is, um, it is funding my channel. Now, I've mentioned before, you know, my Etsy store, which is doing, you know, quite well, 
I'm adding more stuff to that Etsy store all the time and I will be increasing the amount of stuff that's been done and put on that Etsy store for you guys to purchase and I'll be using as much of that in my journal projects as well so that you can see how I'm using it and you can make a decision as to whether or not that's right for you. Um, so there's the Etsy store which also helps fund my YouTube channel. I have looked at the, pa the Patreon thing. But one of the things that I don't like about the Patreon thing is the fact that it's a fixed monthly sum and it's kind of what I think is a bit of a financial burden for some people. I know there are people out there that want to support and want to help their favourite YouTube artists but just can't afford something regular on a monthly you know, kind of basis. It, it can be a bit of a burden. Um, so I thought about a way of doing it as a one-off. Uh, and that's what I've done. Now, in olden days, when patrons of the arts wanted to support a venture, um, they made one-off donations, and they were called angels. And if you go into a theatre, particularly like in the UK here, um, and look at the back of seats in the theatre, you'll see people's names. And these are the people that have donated to the upkeep of the theatre, and they are the, the patrons. Uh, but they were known as angels. So that's what I've done. I've set up on my blog... Um, an angel page where if anybody wants to make a donation to support my YouTube channel um, then they can do it there but it's not a fixed amount it can be anything from 50 cents to $50 or, or above whatever it's not fixed um, so you can donate as much as you want but it is only a one-off so it's not regular so if you make that donation it's not going to keep coming out every month it's just that's it one donation is one donation. So it's kind of like leaving a tip. You know, it's up to you. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me in creating more, then you can, if you wish to, um, leave a donation through that angel page. And you'll see like this little angel symbol appear every so often um, that will have links to my angel page on my blog. So and my blog is listed in the description area below this video. So, but if you're watching this on my blog, then it's just in the menu, it's on the menu bar or in the sidebar. You'll be able to see it anyway. Um, it's all very self-explanatory. Literally, you just type in how much you want to donate and hit the send button. <laughs> Done and dusted. Now, what I will do is for everybody that has donated at the end of videos like this, I will put a slide in the end credits with that person's name as a thank you for supporting my endeavours. So that's it. That's all from me. Not a lot to talk about this month. Um, as I said, I've got um, another four lots of Happy Mail to go through, but I will do in those in individual videos throughout the next coming week or so. So you have those to look forward to as well. And I will, if you want to, start doing videos where I show you the contents of my drawers. Okay, on that note, I'm off. It's all from me. I'll see you all again really soon. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, or don't. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And that's all from me. I'm going, bye. There you go. Oh, thank you.